Hello, and welcome to the PhotoBiz Platform Demo. In this, I'm going to showcase the Website Builder and all our other tools, show you how easy it is to build with, and run your photography business from one platform. So let's jump right in. And this is what it looks like when you first get PhotoBiz. So you'll be able to see right away all the tools and resources that you have here on the left which, you know, this home base is our doc. This is where you'll see new notifications for like people who left you forms, appointments, anything through proofing, anything that's been purchased through your website and conversations, which is kind of like our own instant messenger that's built into the CRM tool in the back. You also be able to see email campaigns that you've sent. So what's nice is with PhotoBiz, you get 2000 free emails that you can send a month to your client base, which is really, really awesome. So if you have any lead lists or anything like that, you can really get targeted down to it. On the left over here, you'll see all the tools that you have. You have the website builder, which we'll dive right into. That'll be actually where we build our website. E-commerce is where you set up all your products, services, uh, and just, you know, your pictures as well. Like, so whatever formats that you're selling can be all built in through here. Blogging tool. This is where you actually create all your blogs in. So all your blogs will be in this section. Then you can attach them into the website. So everything is in a nice area. So everything's located in this section. Proofing tool is where your client tools will be. So if you're doing any, uh, you know, private client, client galleries, this is where all these will be hosted at. And you can also do e-commerce through them. So you can actually set up all the things through your e-commerce that have been relegated through your uh, proofing tool. You also have a scheduling tool if you need it. So if you take any appointments, you can set that up for uh, throughout your week. And then you can also uh, cut out days for specific things if you need to. So maybe only on Mondays you do like uh, only appointments, but the rest of the week you'd like to do all your shooting appointments. Forms, this is where you can create uh, any type of form, contact forms and digital contracts. These things can be all built through here. And you also have the ability to take payments through your forms as well. So you can create custom order forms if you need to. Contacts, again, that's that CRM tool. So this is where everything can be put inside your uh, website. So whenever someone connects with you, talks to you through a blog, all of that is uh, tagged in on the back end here. Marketing tool, this is where you can send those email campaigns, but you can also set up pop-ups if you need to for any types of sales that you might be doing and also sticky banners for like notifications for like long-term sales, or maybe you're creating a wait list because you're just so busy. You'll still have the availability to be able to connect to your customers. Files, this is where you upload uh, your files straight to our clipboard system. So once you upload it in here, it's permanently saved in here and you don't have to worry about like having to upload the file in multiple places at once. You can always go back to the clipboard. Branding, this is where you can connect and set up all your branding tools, such as your uh, logo and things like that. It connects to all the tools within there, all your forms, all your marketing tools, you name it. Domain, this is where you connect your domain. And if you have a mailbox through us, you can come here and click and log into your mailbox and then your account details. So everything is built all into the system and then everything connects directly to your website. So let's go ahead and jump into a website builder and show you what this is like. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna select a template when you get started. We have tons of templates to choose from. You can preview them when you'd like. When you click the preview, you can see what they look like. If there's a design that you like about it, everything's built right in. So you can modify the colors and everything like that. So let's pick something that's been, uh, you know, a lot of people have been uh, connecting with lately is Francis. People like Francis, the new layout that we have. It's got this nice uh, menu that sticks when you roll. Logo stays at the top, but it has this nice editorial feature look. It looks really nice, very clean. It can work with any type of uh, photography, but this one looks like they built it out with uh, the thought of like uh, you know, some type of fashion piece for seniors. So let's go ahead and stick with that. So when you're ready to select one, you click select. That's the one you want to start with, create this site tool. Now, everything is versatile about this template. What it's going to do is it's going to bring in this template styling. So everything that we saw, how it was laid out over here, is going to be pulled. And the way this works is it's all by block. So this is a banner block. These are image blocks. This is a text blocks. This is a blog block. Everything's kind of like building with Legos. So that's the really nice piece about it. You can see how it's all built here. Here's our banner block. Here's our, our, our image block, a divider to break up some of the information, title, text, you name it. You can see that it's replicated over here. Now all you have to do is fill in the blanks. So the nice part about that is it's really simple. So what you could do is you could go directly in here. You can click on the image that you want to replace, or you can go to your clipboard. I personally like starting in the clipboard and uploading my images directly in there, just so I can have something all in one place already. So click on the clipboard, click upload. And I'm going to just add some images that I have over here real quick. Just 
just going to upload them in. Once they're uploaded, they're going to be stashed into this clipboard system. So when you go back, you can see they're all right here already. So this is nice. So you can see how you can select multiple ones if you need to that you want to add anywhere. But let's also add our branding as well. I'm going to also upload a logo. So you can just drag and drop your logo directly in here. And there we go. I just put Jane Doe Studio in there. So when we're taking a look at what our website looks like so far, we have this template that we're working with. So let's go back and see what it looks like live so far. So we have it, our logo's in there. And now we just gotta change all these placeholders. It's really easy. Select the image that you wanna replace. You can either drag and drop and delete it, or you can click on it. And then you can select either upload a new image, a stock image if you want to, or go to our clipboard. So I'm just pick something from our clipboard. So I'm gonna select this one right here. I think this is cool, right there. And then you can put title information and subtitle. So if maybe you want something that stands out on there. So right now, when we look at it, we have this image right here. We want, we want to change some colors and stuff like that, but we'll do that later. So maybe you want this to say something like, book your senior session with me. Save 20% right now. You have something like that, and then you can have a button, book now. And you can lead it to a, a page. Select which page you want it to go to. We'll just click on booking for now. And then we want to modify some styling. You can keep these overlay effects if you need to. You can keep a scrolling effect. Right now, that scrolling effect is when you scroll up and down. It's the slight, like it's slightly underneath the rest of the website. So it's kind of cool like that. You can modify that, change the colors if you need to. White text, white color. Let's see what this looks like so far. You can see that has this effect right here. We're gonna modify that. I like to have our overlay color with a little bit more contrast. And then you can modify the button color if you want to as well. I want the button to be white. And I want the button text to have black on it for now. So you can see how it sets up really simple, fast and quick. And you can modify those things as you go. You can make this have a full screen effect. You can make it go half screen. It's really up to you on what you want your settings to look like at the end of the day. And then you can modify where you want your text laid out as, you know, maybe you don't want it to be right over a face. You can choose, you know, left or right. So it's really up to you. You know, you can have anything set up this way. Now let's modify some other settings. Let's go to our design. You'll see right away that you have the ability to adjust your colors and stuff like that. So if you want to make any modifications, you could change this to white for your accent colors. If you need to change anything else, you can do that really quickly. So you have these white outlines and stuff like that. Since we have a darker image, we might want to replace it with uh, something different. So we're just gonna change that image real quick to a lighter tone. So let me go back to that image. And that's easy to change as well. Go back over to your image, click on it, and then just replace from your clipboard. Let's choose something like this. Let's go with this girl. There we go. Go back, and now we have that. And then you can modify where her face is placed at by just clicking on the edit focal point. So we want it more on her face. A little too high. Let me bring it down. Just touch. There we go. There we go. And then you can modify your colors and settings as well. After that, you start modifying your other blocks. Down here, we have some list item blocks. These list item blocks are good for like if you want people to go to custom galleries or anything like that. So they had it set up as rustic, flora, friendship, and life. But we want to change some of this stuff. So let's go ahead and change uh, the actual image itself. We're going to replace it with that lady we had earlier. Maybe we want to put uh, seniors. Then we can link it to a special gallery if we have anything. I'm just going to click it to our portfolio for now. And then we can keep modifying this till we get something we like. Uh, artistic, we'll call this one.
And then we'll just keep adding the other ones in. We'll call this one model. And then we'll just call this one street life. How about that? So now we got that set up. Let's take a look at what we've done so far. So now they got these nice rollover effects you can see with the titles in, in play. If we want to modify this girl's head not getting cropped off, click on it, and then we'll edit that focal point again, bring it up. And then you can see it adjusts quickly. Now you can modify the text if you need to as well. So this is where you would put any type of text changes or anything like that. We keep this dummy text here for now, but mostly you're going to modify this. So this goes into our blogs that we have pre-set up for you so you can understand how that works. I'll go over to the blog. You'll see that there's four already built in. This is where you can come modify what you want the blogs to say. So this is just kind of help you get an idea of how you should blog. It's everything's set up the same way. It's all drag and drop. So you can select how things are, uh, are added in there. You just want to modify, replace these images, pull some from our clipboard again. Let's choose this gentleman. And I'm going to change the layout. You can choose how you want images laid out inside of a blog, just like our images over on the website builder itself. And then once you have something that you're ready to publish, you click up here. There's a publish tool. You can set it to draft. If you're still working on something, you can schedule a publish something if you want to come out at a later date, or you can publish now. I'm going to set it to publish now. So now when we go back over there, we can start seeing the changes that we've been making. So it's going to start pulling directly from that blog setting. So it's already getting removing those placeholders and adding those real images in. So you want to do that for every type of uh, blog that you're putting out there. So if we're going to have a new blog, always add something, uh, always have an image in there so it has something to pull from. We're going to replace these images here. Just add three more. Select this one, this one, and this one. And then they start popping over here. So that's the nice thing. It populates instantaneously. So as you build your website, it's very fast and quick. You don't have to wait on anything to re-upload or anything like that. And then if you need to change the order of images, you can. If we want this girl in yellow to be the main one, just drag it to the front, and then it'll populate right over here. So now we've already got images at the top. We got these images here. We've got our blog set up. Now we have another image that's it's a slideshow down here. So let's go ahead and modify that too. We'll come over here to our website builder. Inside the website builder, you'll see there's tons of placeholders. You can replace them all or you just delete them. And then once they're deleted, just go back to your clipboard. Then you can select images that you want to display. Maybe we want to display this many. Set insert. And I want to change the order real quick. Let's see what this looks like. So now we got images that can rotate, and then they'll keep sliding through just like that. And then we have a form here at the bottom for our lead gen. You can keep it here for a subscribe one, or you can modify them. You can select which one you want to have, what type of form category it is. If you want people to just say hello, you could have that. You could change it to this form. And then you have effects for that. You can have overlay effects where this one has a form with an image at the top right above it. So I'm going to keep it on that, see what that looks like. And then I'm going to add an image to it. So let's go ahead and select one. And out of this, I'm going to select, oh, let's see. Let's just pick this one, see how it looks. Let's go back. You can see that it's really large on this, so I might change the how it's laid out. So I might want to choose something with an overlay effect like this. Now let's see what that looks like. So there you go. So you can have something that's unique and stylized that way. So we already got this nice editorial look that's already starting to put together. Uh, it feels very you know focused on seniors and fashion forward that way. And then you have your learn more section down here at the bottom, which you can easily modify. 
Same thing like how we did those images at the top. If you have more images, you can upload more images. So that's what I'm going to do real quick. So I'm going to replace this one by just uploading one. And this time, you know, maybe we're getting into something that's a little bit more, you know, family oriented. So maybe I'm going to select something with an image like this. And then keep modifying. I'm going to pull one from my clipboard. Go back to our FAQ. I'm going to select the family focused one again. Let's see what we got here. Maybe this one with a child model. There we go. And then for booking, we'll select another one from our styling up here. So now, we have our homepage pretty much designed. We can modify the links and stuff like that where we want it to go, but we had the layout already designed. It took us no time and within you know 10 to 15 minutes, we had this layout. All we need to do next would be you know changing what you'd want the words to actually say so it fits your brand, right? So that'd be the one thing that you know you could utilize and figure out what you want the pages to say. But the next pages that we would want to focus on are our next core pages. So our three main core pages is your home, about, and then your contact. So let's jump right on into the about. So right now, this is how the about set up over here. It's got a form, We've got some images here to, to express that photographer's uh, needs. So what I would do is I go to that about page. You can see that we have tons of different blocks over here if you need them, title block, text editor block, text images, uh, image blocks, banner blocks, list items, blog, this is where you could drop a blog block right on something, video blocks if you need them. So if you have a video that you wanna showcase, your forms, dividing tools, buttons if you need to add more button options, custom HTML, you can just add some right here by using the HTML block. If you have products that you wanna showcase on your website, you can easily do that by doing clicking here and adding this block. Same thing with the services and the scheduler. And then if you wanna have gift cards set up, you can add those to your website as well. And then you have a map block, proofing block for client galleries, and then the FAQ blocks, which are some one of my favorite blocks that you can really do a lot with them, not just for FAQ, but you can do a lot of cool settings with that. Um, so what we're in here, we can see there's three image block, but I'm gonna modify this a bit. I actually like this text, but maybe I want it laid out in a different way. So I'm gonna copy this, but I wanna make this more, not just on the actual uh, photography, I want it to be for the photographer. So I'm gonna add this text plus image. I'm gonna put this in here. I'm gonna put about Jane. And then I'm gonna change the layout. Right now it has the image selected this way. I want it to be off to the side. So we, I want her picture to be on this side. So we're gonna select a picture that represents her. Let's see what we got. This is a nice photographer photo, there we go. So I'm gonna select that one, upload it directly into here. And then you have this directly on there. But the next thing I want to do is also add a call to action. So I'm going to have a call to action to book with her. So book. And we'll just set that to go to a page and then to a contact page. So now we have this page set up. This is what it originally looks like without us modifying anything, but we've made some modifications to it. So now you can see this block's going to have this. I can see it's a little long here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually move some text because we don't need it. We just want a little paragraph about her. And then we have this extra text below. I'm going to remove that text block. Just delete it. And there we go. Now you got something that's a little nice, more compact. And if you want to add some more space in between here, you can easily do that. You can go in here through the styling. You see that you know, space inside the blocks and space below the blocks. I'm gonna add a medium bit of space below this block. And it's just gonna give us some little bit of air between the form and the actual section. And then this book now button is gonna take us over to that booking page. So that's the nice thing. So we've already got this page set up. We already got it to collect leads. We've got some information about her and her services. So let's jump over to the next core page, that contact page I was talking about. This one's simple enough. It's kind of set up the same way as your other page, but this is where you can put more details. Maybe there's a map you want to add to the page or something like that so people can find you. You can easily do that. Go ahead and add a map here at the bottom. 
you put your business name here. Since it's PhotoBiz, I'm just going to put PhotoBiz. Read address. And then you can change the zoom level and if you need it to be original color or grayscale. And you can add text and other things like that if you need to. I'm just going to change the layout to be wide. And I'm going to have it set up so we can see what that looks like. Refresh. So you can see that we have this map already selected down here and it already coordinates exactly where we want to go. So that took no time. We can already see it directly right here on the map. And you can modify the settings. If you need the zoom level, to zoom in further, or, you know, closer, you can um, refresh that. That's really close. So it's really up to you on how you want the settings to be set up. That's really simple and easy to do. Okay, we got our map set up. Now we just need to change our banner. I'm gonna select something from our clipboard. And you know what? I'm gonna select uh, I like this yellow. So I'm just gonna select that yellow one right here. We're gonna keep it, we're gonna make this a little bit shorter. And we're just gonna see what that looks like. You can see that's cropping right here. So what we do is we change our focal point again up to here. And you keep tweaking until you get your desired result especially with mostly vertical images, you know, you probably prefer something more horizontal, then you can find something like that. If you want something more stylized like this, let's see what this purple looks like. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Let's change the focal point just a touch, more on our eyes. And then I'm just gonna change it just a touch back to the medium, see what that looks like. Ooh, that's too much on her forehead. There we go. So now you got some stuff that you can do here, and then you could also put some text over top of this image if you want to, like contact me today. Save that. Change the stylings. We want it to be white text title text and then the overlay color again i like to go more contrasted looking so i like to put a little bit darker on top there we go so you could have something like that if you want to so that page is easily set up so you have your three core main pages you have your home your about and contact now setting up other galleries and stuff like that that's what you'd want to do next now the way this one's set up is a little bit non-traditional they have it set up by what type of photography they do so when you click here you can see the actual images that they do so we're going to kind of fall in line and see what they're doing and see how we can make this uh you know more diverse right now it has a senior flow to it but maybe they do more than just seniors so you know we're going to have seniors They have three images that kind of represent it. So I'm just going to select three real quick. And they have it in a layout for verticals. You could change the layout if you want to. I'm going to select a uh, square for now. And even though these images might be more vertical, that you can select them and then they'll fit that uh, blocks uh, dimensions. So maybe I'm going to select this one, this one, and that one to represent it. Change the order. Now we have our images. I want to get a little bit closer since the other ones are a little bit close up. Change that one a bit, and I'm going to select this one. Then maybe we want to do something for, we'll say, uh, newborns. Maybe you do something beyond just senior photography or weddings and stuff like that. We'll put some newborns in here. Remove these images. I'm going to change this styling to square. And then we're going to make, we're going to upload some images real quick. So let's do that. Just going to drag and drop what I have. Just going to select three real quick. Now we got our baby photos over here. Looking cute. Let's do that. And then just keep modifying till you get, you know, 
how many galleries you want inside. I'm going to do one for wedding as well. I'm going to remove this one. Upload. Let's do our weddings. Then we're just going to select a couple photos and see which ones we like best. I'm just going to drag and drop a couple. Cool. So I'm just going to select this one, then I'll get rid of it. And I'll change that one to square as well. And then we have an extra gallery here. I'm just going to delete it. If you don't want anything on a page, you can easily remove it. So, so far, let's refresh. So now we have our different types of galleries that we want to showcase. Now you can have these where they're clickable. Right now they have it set to where you click and you can see the image higher res, but we want these to actually click in to see uh, deeper galleries. So how about we create galleries specific for them? So I'm going to create a new section over here. I'm going to create a new page. I'm going to call this one seniors. And then I'm also going to hide this page because we don't want it to show up on our main menu. We want them to dive and look for it. So I'm going to click on settings. I'm going to make this hidden. So it's still visible, but it's just not going to be visible on the main uh, menu up here. Next, we'll go back to our portfolio or gallery page, I mean. Then we'll click here. We're going to modify this. So when they click on any of these images, it goes to a page that we want it to. So we're going to click on page and we want this to go to our seniors. And I'm going to do this for each image because you could have each image go somewhere specific if you wanted to, like one for male seniors, one for female seniors, and so forth. But we're all going to link it to one specific gallery. So let's create this gallery that we've just set up. So what do we do? Click on our senior page. I'm going to click on images. And right away, you have multiple layouts. So you could have it where it shows, you know, square shape portrait shape, landscape, editorials, so many different types of image layouts. But the most popular way to probably showcase your images would be this pin board, this pin board laid out. Select how many rows you want it and how many columns you want it. So, you know, if you have 10, you know, 30 images, so maybe this is how you want to set up. Go to our clipboard. You can see all our senior images here. Or you could directly upload the images into the gallery by clicking upload. So I'm just going to drag and drop what I have over here into here. I'm going to upload directly in there. It's got about 20 and 19 images out of that gallery. So there we go. And then if you want to rearrange how these images are, if you want this one to be here, all you have to do is drag and drop where you want to go. Now, if the pin board layout is going to give us a unique design where it's filling out the blanks right here, we don't want those images to get cropped off at the top. So I'm just going to put a divider right above it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to call it a spacer. So since it's a spacer, it comes up like that. There's, it ain't going to put a line or anything like that in there. So it's just going to add space. When you do that, they'll drop it below the menu. And there you go. You got your images laid out. They got If they want to look at them, they click, and then they can just shuffle left or right through the gallery itself. And then if you want to, you can go ahead, add more images if you like. We say about 30 is optimal, but the next thing you probably want to do is add some text just to let people know what this gallery is. And then I always recommend adding a form at the bottom so people can get in touch with you. Because you never know if they'll make it all the way to the contact form, right? And then I'll just make it a form itself. Then I'll add a divider here and a title. I'll change this from a spacer to actually that. Now we got this line, we got some text over here, but we want to modify this a touch. I want this title to say 
get in touch with me today. Then you can modify the actual form itself. Right now, stack below. I want this block right here to go side by side so it makes it more even. So now we got that set up. And you know what? Instead of having this dividing line, I'm going to actually modify it because I want to have some color on this form. So we'll go back to the form. We'll change the background color to more of this uh, bluish hue. We'll see what that looks like over it. You can see right there, it's nice. I'm going to do the same thing with this title effect, add a little color, and then I'll get rid of that dividing line. It's really up to you on how you want it designed. Now it's already clean, it's fresh, it already looks like it fits. And then if I wanted to do this for all the other galleries, I would replicate it. So when people come to the gallery, they'll see right away, they can click on it, and they're dropped right on in. So this is really nice. It's fast and simple. We got this built out. We got our gallery. We got an about page. Now, if you're showcasing anything else, like a booking page or anything like that, you can always go through these pages and keep adding things. Like your FAQ page. Like I said, FAQ page is one of my favorite, or FAQs are my favorite blocks, because you can do a lot with them. You can make them designed where you know it's going down in an accordion style. Like right now, it's set up for kind of this nice modern look, but you can change that. Maybe you want it more like this. You click here, refresh, and now you have it like this. So it's really up to you on how you want it designed. I think it, you know, you can get really unique with how you want it laid out on your web page. Because then they're really getting the shoes, what they want to read about and stuff like that. And you can go beyond just being about the FAQ sections. This can have like pictures inside of it, anything like that, any other types of details. I'm going to keep this accordion look because I think that looks nice. And for our booking page, you know, we have these sessions and things like that set up. So let's go ahead and see what we got cooking on the back end. So right now our pages are set up pretty much. We're going to go to the e-commerce. If you want to set up anything for e-commerce, if you're going to be selling, you can select the merchant right away. We recommend Stripe, but there's other options such as Square, iTransact, PayFlow, PayJunction, Authorize.net, and PayPal, or offline payments. So if anyone's paying with cash or check, you could have it set up that way. I'm going to select PayPal. I'm just going to go, you know, call it PayPal right here. And then you would put your PayPal information here. So I'm just going to connect it to my personal one. There we go. Select. And now you got your merchant selected. So now you can add anything and now payments can come directly through it. So you can set up your prints, digital images, packages, products, services, anything like that, that you want to connect through, you know, your forms or even your scheduling tool. And obviously for your proofing, uh, you know, galleries and stuff like that. So you can check out the prints that you have. You want to create print sizes, really simple to do. So maybe you sell four by sixes. The price for that's $5. You can have that in additional shipping charges, anything like that you can activate it. Then keep adding more print sizes till you're happy. Five by seven, $8. Then we'll just jump up to Eight by tens. And we'll make that one the fifteen dollars. You can keep going to all you have all your print sizes that you want available. You also then have digital images that you can include. You can choose different resolutions, such as web and high. And then we have a optional choice if you want to called original resolutions, where you can upload your original files directly. Uh, that's up to you if you want to sell them at that high. Let your customers do what you want. So if I'm going to select. Our digital size for high resolutions, I'm just going to call it high resolution uh, images and make the price $15 a pop for one. Then you have that. Then you have packages that you can create. If you have anything, you can choose different types, fixed packages, flexible packages, or digital packages. Fixed packages are great because, uh, you know, you give them a set of things that they can select from, like five eight by tens, four, four by sixes, et cetera. So you, you get to create what the package is and then the total cost. Flexible means they could pick whatever they want, but you give a set cost. So if you spend $400, you can get whatever you want. You can get 10, uh, 11 by 15s or something like that if they wanted to. But they get to control what pictures they want. Whereas the fixed one, you get to control what pictures they get. 
And then digital, they can create digital packages. So if they want to download a bunch from the gallery, you have that and they can just bulk download them directly. I'm just going to select the fixed package. I'm just going to call this one fixed. Description, I'm going to add some information there if you want to. I'm just going to put 250 for now so you can see how it works. And then we'll just call this fixed for a tag. And how many poses they can choose from. So you get to select how many poses they can pick from a gallery. So I'm going to let them be able to pick five for $250. And then you can select which print sizes they get. So, you know, four by six, maybe they get 10 of those. Five by sevens, they get four of those. Eight by 10, let them get two of those. And then maybe 11 by 16, We'll let them get one of those. There's your package. It's been created. You can then add anything else. You can modify which order it is, an image to represent that, uh, that package. And then you have your fixed one. We'll create a flexible one real quick as well. We'll call this flex. We'll make this one 250 as well. And for this one, they'll get to choose between three poses and a quantity of. This is where you get to control how many images they can get. We'll let them get a, a quantity of 10 images. And then we'll just call this flex over here. Done, save. Print sizes. Again, you can choose the print sizes you want available. And then to choose from. There we go. Some image to represent it, anything like that. We're good to go. And then we'll create a digital package as well. We'll just call this digital. Give them the option to be able to download 10 images at high resolution size for, we'll make it, uh, we'll make it 250 as well. So everything is across the board 250. Then you have an image that represents it as well and you're good to go. So now we have our fixed flex and digital packages let me change this to fixed package. So we got that set up. Then you can go through here if you have products that you'd like to sell, like if you're maybe selling collages or anything like that on canvases, photo albums, gifts, anything like that. You can have that already set up and then you just modify what it looks like for a customer to see. We already have those pre-built in here. So if you want to, you can go ahead and jump on those. Services, again, this is if you have any types of service that you might be selling. You know, through here, this was set up for an adventure and stuff like that. But, you know, for us, you know, maybe want to have in-studio session. Price for that, sitting fee, 250 right? So we're just going to stick with that. You can have an image represented. Any options that you want to add on that, you can select options. So maybe you want to do hair and makeup. You can give that as a sub option, you know, if they need anything. So we'll just call this one hair, additional price for just hair. We'll make that $75. If there's anything that else we want to describe it as, you can go back. Give them another sub option for makeup. And this will come in handy for like, if you need them to do any purchasing, we'll make that one 75 as well. So then they can select if they want to have makeup and hair as a sub option. So we'll keep that later. So when we look at that, you have the ability to send invoices. So if you're sending anything like after an event, you can always do that. Next thing we really wanna look at is our global price listing. So, you know, we have a price list right here. We're gonna change this around a little bit if you have shipping methods, you can go ahead and include all that. You can see the products, packages, services, all displayed. Now, if you're doing anything through uh, through proofing, services won't display at all. So just be mindful of that. So we'll go back here. We'll create a new one. We're going to call this a proofing. We're going to go through here, keep all this the same, but the only thing we're not going to display is our services. So none and everything else will showcase. So now let's jump over to our proofing. We're gonna create a new event. I'm just gonna call the senior gallery. Expiration date next month. You can make it password protected if you need to. You can allow downloads if you want to. 
and you can allow it with a code if you want to as well. You select our price list for proofing. So we got that selected. And you can also select what the download resolution is. We're gonna set it to high for them. And then you have other options if you want them to favorite, share, comment, and if you wanna display your watermarks or to display the file names, you can add that as well. Once that's ready, again, let's just choose images from our clipboard. I'm gonna select those. They're already now in our new gallery. So when we come here, you'll see that this gallery showcases like this, but you can modify the settings of what it looks like as well. Let's modify our cover page. You can add information on here if you want. You can display your logo if you want. And then you have higher uh, systems like this over here where you can modify the design. So we want our logo to display. We have our colors and information out there too. I like to do a different uh, page layout. I like the vertical split. I think that always looks nice. So I'll show you what that looks like. It's nice, it looks very formal. It looks very, ooh, it's a very good look, especially with this image right here. And then you have other options if you want to, such as a vertical or a square, right? Or something like that. Let's see what that looks like real quick. It's okay, but you can modify the colors and everything else. But I like this one. I'm going to keep it on the split. Then you have gallery layout. Some people like to keep things more boxed in. But again, I like the pinboard look. I think most people will pick the pinboard look. So we're going to keep it as that. Then you have themes. Right now, it's set to this blue tone. I'm going to modify that. I'm going to add a theme. I'm going to change it to be more this monochromatic look. I'm going to save it. And then you can also edit the colors. Maybe you don't want it to be, you know, black and gray. Maybe you want it to have like a gold, you know, gold fleck color to it. You can modify that till you get something you like. And then you can modify the text color of it too. So let's see what that does. So you could have something like this. Maybe you want to keep kind of black text with the gold trim. You do something like that. So I'm going to jump on into this gallery. You can see what we've created. Everything's right here, all our images. So if a customer logs in and they're ready to purchase some stuff or like some images, they can just click on it. You can select it from down here. You have the ability to like, share, comment, download, or you know add to cart. We have our watermark that we have here just over top. So when they click on it, they can't you know take any screenshots or anything like that. So you have those abilities. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna like this image. What it's gonna do is it's gonna prompt you right away for information. That way this is connected to every single user. So you can see what Jeremy H at PhotoBiz has selected like a purchase. So this will be for all your customers and it connects to your CRM. And then there you go. So every time I like something, you'll be able to see that on the back end When you come over to the events section over here, you can see the activity. You can see that I've liked four things. I've commented on zero, downloaded nothing so far. So you can see all that data stored in the back. So if we're gonna purchase anything, you'll be, see right here, these are the packages that we set up, the prints and everything. So the prints, we could get as many one, you know, whatever we want. I want this that many times. And then maybe you wanna create, you know, the packages. Let's take a look at the packages that we have available. Again, we have that fix, flex, and digital one. Click on the fix. You can choose up the five poses. And once you get to the max amount for the said that you allow them, it won't be able to get any more. But now I still have four poses available. So you can mix and match till you get whatever result you like till they meet that, uh, meet that maximum amount. So I'm gonna add a couple of him for here. So now we've met all the uh, four by sixes. I'm gonna add this eight by 10. One eight by 10, and that's it for that one. And you'll see that it says it's incomplete. They haven't finished the package yet. So they could choose till they meet the requirements for this package. We'll get one 11 by 16 of this. And then we'll get just a couple. Oh, I've met all the poses available. So I can get a delete one. I'm gonna add another one. So they'll be able to see like, okay, I've met the requirements already for this one. So if they wanted to add more of the other images that are already selected, they could if they wanted to. If not, once they filled it out, how many images are available, it'll say complete. And then they can continue shopping. If they're gonna continue shopping, maybe they wanna get a, uh, you know, a flex package. They'll be able to select three poses and 10 prints for that one. So the way this one works is again, you know, they're not rigid to how many they can get. 
uh, per size, but more based on pose and how many prints are available. So they can get all one pose or multiple poses of just this size if they wanted to. If that's what you wanted to allow them to have with that type of package. So I'm just going to print it out. There we go. He didn't want to use all his poses. He just wanted this image uh, 11 by 16 for all of them. And then you have your other packages down here, like the digital ones, if you want them to fill that out. And then go back even further, you have your product. So if you wanted to choose anything like a 16 by 20 or anything like that, they can add it to the cart. Once they got everything they want in the cart, they can view the cart, they can see the costs available. So 613, and then they can securely check out. Take them over here, they'll be able to fill out their information and then they'll be able to purchase directly from you. You'll get that invoice. Then you can send that to your lab or wherever you connect with. Once that's done, again, you can see all the things that I've liked and everything on this side, and they'll ship off. Then you have the ability to look at other tools like our scheduling tool. Maybe you wanna be able to have them be able to book appointments for you. You can types of different ones that are already set up for us, family portrait session, senior portrait session, or headshots. And then you can modify your availabilities, your hours of operations. So maybe this is your hours per day. You can modify that quickly here. We're just gonna keep it as is for now. You can also add this to any calendar that you have as a calendar feed. So you just copy this code and then place it in your either Google, Apple, or Outlook. And then you'll be able to sync that with your personal calendar and see when people book with you. But if you need to make any changes or cancellations or anything like that, we recommend doing it on this side. So you'll be able to have this sync on your personal calendar, but anything that you want to update, always do it through the PhotoBiz Builder. Once that's done, Again, you can start seeing people that are collected in our CRM. You'll start collecting uh, data for this customer. You can add your own personal data for this customer as well, like tags or anything like that. Maybe they're purchasing through a gallery. These are the types of things that you are stored back here. So maybe if they left me a message through proofing for the gallery, let's take a look at how that's like. So everything's stored in the back. Maybe they like this image, but they want something done about it. So they click here. You can see them like, hey, we change this shade of yellow. You'll get that information. It's stored all in the back. Then when you go to your CRM, you'll see notifications up here as well. So you'll get a notification in your notification section. But over here in your contact section as well, you'll see the conversations are all stored here as well. So you don't have to go searching through emails or anything like that. And you can reply directly from this section to them as well. So like, yeah, sure. And that'll go to their email inbox. So it's a nice way to keep everything collected in one place versus all over the place. And you can see all the submissions, any files they've uploaded, anything they've purchased. So if we were gonna finish that purchase, that you would see all their orders, any proofing events, and any appointments that they've made. So let's go back to our website builder. Let's take a look at that uh, booking page that we're looking at. Just gonna modify the banner real quick. We're just gonna change this placeholder to have something more engaging to look at. Just put this image here. Let me go back over here, available sessions to book. So let's see what we have. So you can display all of them or display a single category if you'd like. They right now have portrait sessions. So we'll go back over to our scheduler, go back to our services, and then you can select the portraits. You, then you can have images represent them. I'm gonna have this one. We want to upload one that's uh, for family. So let me do that. So it reflects the words that are already there. So we're going to select this one. That one's cool. Senior portrait. We'll change the image to this one. We'll select that uh, image here. And then headshots. We'll select that here as well. Select this one. There we go. And then you can change the cost or modify any of that, anything like that. Right now, headshots is zero dollars for 15 minutes of service. Let's go ahead and make that a hundred dollars. And then, yeah, we'll keep it at 15. And yes, we'll want to take that booking and payment right then and there. So you can choose that if you'd like that as well. Once that's done, it's ready to go. So we'll go back to our website builder. You'll see that these sessions are available now. So what's that look like? Live. So we'll go over here. 
we'll select which one. We'll, we'll go ahead and select on the uh, headshot one since we've already got that one set up. You can add details about each one. And then when they're ready to schedule, they can see what you have available and how the increments are. You, since this is set up for every 15 minutes, you can have it set up that way and they can choose which days you have available. So if I was gonna book for uh, on Friday, I wanted a 9 a.m. session, you could go ahead and add that to cart. There we go. So we're just going to select that, add to cart, and then they would be able to secure checkout just the same way. So that way it's already booked and you'll get that information sent to you on that back end. Everything's stored on that back, and there you go. Now, if you want to have a live store, you can have that as well. If you want a more traditional store, you can do that. And then you have all your contact pages. Pretty much everything's already set up. So we have our news page, we have our home page. All our pages are set up to be viewable, except for our client one. Let's we'll go ahead and fix that one. To have an image represented. Or maybe you want to show how busy you are. I think this is a great way to market your business by having a proofing gallery visible. So if you have multiple proofing galleries, they'll showcase. So we have that one senior gallery one that we've built here, but you would have all multiple ones showcasing below. And then you could have something here as well. I'm going to change this image. I'm just going to select. Oh, we'll just select this one. And then maybe we want to change the layout. We're just selected this way or other way. That way your face isn't cropped off. You can have information stored directly here. So they're reading about client proofing. They can view a gallery or a set of galleries, or they can start seeing all the senior ones here. It's really up to you on how you want it laid out. Uh, and then once someone gets to here, if the gallery is private or not, they can go directly into it. If it's password protected, they can go directly into it. And then you can see and jump right on in, which I really like because the more of these you have, the more busy you look. And you always want to make it look like you're busy because you know that's when people start booking your services. So yeah, then you can just keep going down the line if you want to add anything else for storage or anything like that. You have all this available to keep modifying. So that's basically the main gist of getting your website online. We were able to connect a lot of tools really quickly. We created a proofing gallery, we created our homepage, our about page, our gallery pages, our client page, our booking page, FAQ, contacts. We're able to set up our e-commerce to go ahead and sell those products. We set up a blog real quick just so you can see showcase fast on there and then our scheduler and modify some forms directly. The only other thing that I could show you is our marketing tool. And this is fast and easy as well. You can create email marketing campaigns to really quick. Click a new. You have blanks uh, samples that you can choose from. You also have a bunch of ones that are already built in here. Ones that uh, are really nice to choose from. We're going to go ahead and select. Uh, let's go ahead. We're splashing into savings. It'll pull directly over here. You're ready to modify it. You can just change the images if you want to, the words if, when you're ready, and where you want it to link to. You can just tell it where to go. Once you have that all set up, you can then send directly to your list. Since it's just me on the list right now, there's only one contact, obviously. But the more you fill it up, you get up to, you know, you can have thousands and thousands of people. You can create different tags and stuff like that. You can send it to customers, to leads, or even customized ones. You know, if you have anything tagged specifically, like for seniors, you can send it directly to all your clients that are seniors, all the ones that were weddings, newborns, et cetera. And then you'll be able to connect with them. When you're ready, click connect. And since you got to get your account verified, I can't just send out emails because that's how we stop spammers. But once you have it ready, you can have it where, who's it coming from? What's your email address? Do you want to get all the replies to? And what the subject is and then confirm and then send. And then they'll get your email campaigns. And again, you can send up to 2000 a month. So if you have a relatively large list, you know, like maybe you got a thousand customers, you can send two emails that month. Uh, and if you have like 500 each or anything like that, it's really up to you on how you want to uh, occupy that ability. The next step is you have pop-ups and sticky banners. These are really cool. Promotional bar sticky banners are great because maybe you have something going on, maybe site maintenance or a site-wide sale. We could have that on here as 20% off site-wide. And then you publish it. You can display where you want it to. If you want it to be in the builder, the website itself on pages specifically, 
Maybe you want it to be on your gallery page. You could do that. Or you could have it in your proofing galleries if you want to. And I'll showcase a really cool thing you can do with your proofing gallery next. And you can show how frequent do you want this to display? Every day, once, only once, every seven days, every 30 days, and how long you want it to be. We'll hit publish. And what this looks like is we set it up to go to our gallery page. So we'll go back to our home. You'll see that you know we don't have anything here, but to our gallery, we'll have this banner that's going to the bottom. We select it, it show up at the bottom. So if we had it linked anywhere, we could have a promo code that they could see or find there, and then it could link over to anything you want specifically after that. And you connect that directly through all your e-commerce tools. Another thing you can do is pop-ups themselves. So if I'm gonna add a new pop-up, one of my favorite ones is actually for our new our proofing tool is actually proofing tutorial. So this will walk your customers through how to use the proofing tool. So this is really awesome. I'm going to select this one. You can change the text if you want to. The video is already in there, so you don't have to worry about it. You can add buttons if you need to and any styling or color changes. Right now it's on white, so maybe I wanted to change the uh, content background to have more of this teal shade that we're using throughout the website. Do that. It's just going to have this nice color effect on top. Hit publish. We don't want this to display in our builder, but we want this to dis display in our proofing galleries. And we want this to kind of be indefinite. So I'm just going to make it till 2024. And, you know, every time someone logs in, we want to make sure they know how to get what they want. You can also choose with pop ups how soon you want to show up. With that type of gallery, I say zero seconds. But if you're using pop ups on your website, for a uh, type of promotions, we say five seconds or longer because we've seen data that results with higher uh, conversions. You don't want to pop up the pop right up because people get scared, but for a gallery, it works perfectly. So let's take a look at that uh, event again. We'll go over to our clients and someone logs in for the first time. They're going to get this pop up right on their page and they'll be able to watch that video. And it walks them through everything on how to basically what I showcased today, uh, you uh, comment, share and purchase. So that'll be there and then they're good to go. So we got that set up, everything's ready. And that's pretty much how you can utilize and we pretty much almost built the entire website and all our tool functionality within this one hour. Thank you for joining our event today. If you need any assistance or would like to learn more about getting started with PhotoBiz, contact our sales and support teams. They'll be happy to assist you.